All right. Uh, did you sell your home uh, last month uh, or a month before? I'm just curious because a lot of people did. Existing home sales rising close to 4.5%, the highest level we've seen since February 2007. The argument is that you have to sell existing homes before people can go out and buy new ones. So that could be a good precursor to things. Uh, former Fannie Mae executive Tim Rood and the host of FBN's mm -hmm. The Property Man, Bob Massey. Bob, what do you make of this? Well, I think from the perspective of developers, you know, in Las Vegas and the growth and the change of the rates, it's just going to continue to boom again. I, I could tell you, Neil, uh, in Las Vegas, which I think is a good parameter because of what happened years ago, uh, it looks like 2005 and six. I mean, it's just happening. But I will tell you, as it relates to uh, old homes, if you will, there's no inventory. And as a result of that, the prices are going up and there's bidding wars on old homes. So it's sort of all over the place, but the rates are fantastic for builders. You know, are you surprised, Tim, on those rates that they have been relatively constant? You would think with all the talk about, you know, economic stimulus to come, tax cuts, though they haven't materialized yet. I hope springs eternal, they will. Mm -hmm. Stocks have certainly been running up and the, the, the argument would be that rates would be backing up and they haven't. What's going on? Well, I think that you saw, nice to see you, Neil. Same I think here. you saw in the uh, latest Fed conference that, you know, all of the economic indicators and forecasts really haven't changed from last year. So while it certainly looks like the Fed is inclined to continue to raise rates, the really the fundamentals aren't there and wouldn't lead you to believe ultimately that rates should be going up because of economic fundamentals. What I would say is also, you know, when you think about the, the recent number, the existing home sales number, I'd go so far as to say it was a good number, but not a great number. And here's really why. What these things are, don't take into consideration is the fact that they're not adjusted for population increase. So if you think about, while well, it's a darn good thing to see that, uh, you know, home prices or home sales have gone up a little bit, we've also seen that you know, the, actually the number of people in the country has gone up 50 million people from the same pace that we're at today hmm. on existing home sales from 20 years ago. So this is not a good thing. Um, not a good thing, Bob. Uh, now normally, if you sell the home you're in, you're, you're ready to buy something else. Mm -hmm. Does that always follow yes. through, particularly in your neck of the woods? Not really, Neil. I'll give you a statistic I just saw this morning from the Greater Las Vegas Association. There are 5,200 homes that's on the market in mm -hmm. Las Vegas in the month of March, and there was one, not one offer made on those homes. Hmm. Now, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us a lot of different things. Number one, people don't have the money. People are concerned about the economy. There's still some job issues. Interest rates moving is going to make a difference, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, it's, it's very fickle right now. And we're sort of dealing with a lot of issues because, you know, the Raiders announced and now you have hotel condos going up in prices and sort of there's a lot of ambiguity in a lot of different areas. But mm -hmm. I agree with this gentleman. That's a very interesting perspective that he just mm -hmm. made. All right. So mm -hmm. tell me how housing looks to you right now, Tim, and for the foreseeable future. Well, I'm concerned, honestly. I mean, here's one of the challenges. Again, while you're seeing the number going up in terms of existing home sales, you're seeing anemic new home construction, and the inventory is, is like a falling knife. So, I mean, at some point, you're yep. going to run out of inventory to buy, and the existing home market will stall. But this gets to a bigger issue that we talk about more in D.C., I think, than in other parts of the world, which is, you know, we continue to look at these symptoms or manifestations of the real problem. The real problem is not how many homes we sold. The real problem is not the home ownership rate or how many millennials are actually in their parents' basements. That's not the real problem. The real problem, I think, is really what Donald Trump and the administration are addressing is the fact that the real problem is the fact that builders and lenders have been st just stifled by these thousands of regulations that they've had to deal with, the cost and all the issues associated in a zero tolerance environment on top of the fact that the economy has been flatlined, right? So it's hard to really deal with, you know, again, looking at and, and managing these real numbers when you're not getting to the real problem. And the economy is far more important than, you know, lending policies or even building policies. In the end, if the Washington makes life difficult for you, you're not going to have an easy time of it, right, Bob? Yeah, I mean, I think that when I look at the overall picture, and again, good points being made, I'm not really sure, Neil, what is going to be happening in another 12 months. I think if we get tax differences, we change capital gains, get some tax things that happen to help growth. But, but again, when I look around and I see the development that's going on in Florida, in Vegas, in Arizona right now, in, in California, again, there's this boom, but is it real? And I do have a concern, no. if I may real mm -hmm. quick, 
there are a lot of loan modifications, Neil. They're going to mature this year and next year. I have a concern because interest-only payments are going to principal and interest, and I'm concerned that there could be a little bit of a bubble there. We're going to see some mm -hmm. foreclosures again. Yeah, so there's an uptick in those payments. All right, guys, I want to thank you both. Yep. By the way, you can catch the whole new...